In this video, we will use the trapezoidal rule to solve this um, integral. So let's get started. Um, to solve this problem, this is the formula that we use for trapezoidal rule. And so the first thing that we can do is get delta x. So delta x is equal to the top of the integral, so 3, minus parentheses, the bottom of the integral, so negative 1, divided by n, so divided by 8. And here we would get 3 plus 1 is 4, divided by 8, so that's going to be 1 half. So our delta x is 1 half. And now we will use this formula to ultimately solve this um, integral. But the one thing we can do is apply this 1 half. So our starting is x naught, which is negative 1, right? And it increases by 1 half. So our x1 would be negative 1 half, and our x2 would be 0, and our x3 would be 1 half, and our x4 would be 1, and our x 5 would be 3 halves. We're doing this until we get 3. And x6 would be 2. x7 would be uh, 2.5 or 5 over 2. Finally, x8 would be 3. So we have 8, right? And now we will finally apply this formula. So delta x is 1 half. So we say 1 half divided by 2. Uh, bracket fx0, meaning f parentheses negative 1. What we will ultimately do here is plug in negative 1 in our equation, in our x squared plus 3 equation. But first we're going to set this up. So plus, now this is an important part right here, the plus 2. It's going to be 2 a, a parentheses essentially everything except this x0 and x8, meaning it will be f parentheses negative 1 half, this, plus f parentheses 0, plus f parentheses 1 half, plus f parentheses 1, plus f parentheses 3 half, uh, plus f parentheses 2 plus f parentheses 2.5 and this is where we stop the 2 includes everything except the last one and the first one so so we write plus um, f parentheses 3 this is not included here but is included in this overall equation and so now we will swap and replace so as an example, this negative 1, this is what we do. We write negative 1 here, so one, negative 1 squared is 1, 1 plus 3 is 4. And we do the exact same thing for the other terms. We plug in negative half here, we plug in 0 here, and we replace the number. And so this is what I mean. So 1 half divided by 2 would be uh, 1 fourth, right? And now this is where I swap. So f parentheses negative 1 would correspond to 4 plus 2 bracket or parentheses this right here would become 3.25 plus f0 would be 3 plus f1 half would be 3.25 plus f1 would be 4 plus f3 halves would be 5.25 plus f2 would be 7 plus f2.5 would be 9.25 close this parentheses because this is being multiplied by 2 and plus f3 which was a 12 which will be 12 and finally we multiply this out you can use a calculator and you would get 21.5 and we solve this problem using the trapezoidal rule. 
And now we can ask ourselves, is this a good approximation? And we'll check. And now I will use my calculator to get the exact answer. I'm using a TI Inspire CX cost. So we can hit menu, calculus, integral. Um, it's a definite integral, so it's negative one, three. And we had x squared plus three in terms of dx. Uh, simply hit uh, control enter and the actual answer is 21.333 we got 21.5 so this is a pretty good approximation and that's all we need to do to solve this problem